What's happening, guys? Arush here, and today we're talking about chromosomal mutations. Um, the last two that we talked about that were called uh, point and frame shift, the point mutation, which is the change of a single base. So if we had a thymine, and that was changed later to a guanine, it was changed. That's a point mutation. And the second one, the second category was frame shift. That's when one is inserted or deleted. Okay, there was insertion and deletion. These two types of mutations, the point and the frame shift, those are gene mutations. They take part in just a little segment. What we're going to talk about today is chromosomal. And what that is when huge sections of um, the chromosome actually is altered or changed. So um, if there's something that is removed, a segment that's lost, a segment that's gained, or if this structure is altered in, in any way, or if there's an extra chromosome, right, if, if so, somehow there's a cell with an extra copy of a chromosome, that's what we would call a chromosomal mutation, okay? So here are the five that we're going to talk about today. We have deletion, inversion, translocation, non-disjunction, and duplication. I want you guys to go and take note of this slide. So if I ask you what are the five chromosomal mutations that we talked about, you have a reference point. So first let's go over deletion. In deletion, there's going to be a segment of the chromosome that is lost. So, for example, let's say that this is my chromosome, and each letter represents a single gene. Well, if there's a segment or a gene that is lost completely, then we would call that deletion. Okay? If we look at this new chromosome, there is no uh, gene letter D. Now, what about inversion? For an inversion, that's when a uh, part of the chromosome actually breaks off and then flips around and reattaches itself. So, for example, if this is the sequence we had, A, B, C, D, E, after the mutation, the inversion, the portion of the chromosome would break off, rotate, and then reattach. Now the order is different. Now we have D, C, B, okay, as opposed to B, C, D. Okay, so that's inversion. A part breaks off and flips around. The third type of uh, chromosomal mutation that we're going to talk about is translocation. Translocation, it's a, it's a funky word, but it's involving two chromosomes that are not homologous. Remember we talked about homologous chromosomes before? Homologous chromosomes are two chromosomes that have the same type of information. Translocation involves two non-homologous chromosomes. And what happens, so if I take a look at these two chromosomes, one and two, they have different letters or different genes on them. What will end up happening is they could uh, basically cross over amongst themselves, and then we could have uh, different genes uh, on different uh, chromosomes that aren't supposed to be there, okay? And that would be translocation. I kind of think of it almost as crossing over between non-homologous chromosomes. The next one is duplication, and just like it sounds, we're going to duplicate a copy of some genes. So this is when a sequence of genes is repeated. So the mutated chromosome might go from ABCD to ABCBCD, and it has an extra copy of these genes in the chromosome now, and that would be duplication. Non-disjunction, this one's a little bit different now. Non-disjunction, <clears throat> excuse me, non-disjunction is referring to uh, chromosomes that don't separate properly during meiosis, okay? So if the chromosome number doesn't separate 50-50 into each cell, um, that's non-disjunction. So if you take a look at this one right here, we notice that this diagram right here, this parent cell, when it's split, instead of having each cell get one chromosome, one cell took both copies, and the other cell got none. Now, once it finished through meiosis 1, or I'm sorry, through meiosis 2, uh, this cell has two copies, this cell has two copies, and these two have none. Okay, so these two have extra copies of chromosomes. Now, if we look over here at non-disjunction of meiosis 2, we can see that <clears throat> it separates perfectly here in meiosis 1. However, during meiosis 2, those two separate properly, but this one takes two chromosomes, and this one gets zero chromosomes. So this gamete would have an abnormal number of chromosomes. 
okay? So essentially when there's too many or too few chromosomes in a gamete, that's non-disjunction. So if we were to look at this uh, in recap, this little animation right here, let's see, we have inversion, we have a segment flip around, translocation, this would be from another uh, chromosome, duplication, a segment is repeated, deletion, a segment is taken away, and there you go. And then, of course, non-disjunction. Non-disjunction is referring to meiosis when uh, gametes form with abnormal number of chromosomes. Uh, that was chromosomal mutations, and I will catch you guys next time.